I am Maylene Cayetano, Professor of Environmental Science and Meteorology, Air and Water Pollution Scientist. My mission is to report the air and water pollution problem using science. I collaborate with government, private sector, civil society, and community leaders and tell them the issues. Problems such as air and water pollution are not easy to see unless the health impacts become obvious. For example, household air pollution due to solid fuel use for cooking is a top burden of disease in Filipino households. Natural waters in urban Metro Manila are also exhausted with domestic wastes. We take samples of water from lakes and rivers, as well as samples of source and ambient air, and analyze the levels of pollutants in the lab. Our technologies and initiatives in measuring outdoor air also signals the alarm when the street side air pollution is getting worse. Our results become the basis of stakeholder engagements, white papers, local and national policies. I also partnered with the local town community. In this way, the local government can be guided on what control measures can be prioritized to restore the rivers and creeks into its pristine condition. Dr. Mylene also helped us understand how it is important to bring science to the community level, to engage the people in the community in trying to solve some of the most pressing issues, most pressing problems of our environment um, in these modern times. Aside from urban communities, I also help vulnerable communities in the shoreline and high altitude areas to have access to clean drinking water. The GDM filtration systems are now providing clean water to 100 households for the past two years. I have witnessed how the more vulnerable sectors are impacted by the deterioration of the air and water quality. The effects highlighted more because of the pandemic. Pero mas naintindihan ko kasi yung importance ng pagkakaroon ng pagkakaroon sa tubig, pagkakaroon sa tubig. When leaders and communities become aware of the issue, they take action. And the action creates impact on improving environmental quality. It also supported all my endeavors to further advance my environmental education. I hope that more scientists reach out to communities as end users of the technologies with a clear objective of understanding the human impacts to the environment and to provide concrete solutions to bring clean air and clean water through community effort.